North London derby, particularly as a player, and just kind of what it, what it meant to you, the sort of the rivalry, sign the picture for us, basically. <laughs> I have so many. Um, the big comeback that we made when we were tuning down, probably, I think it was the second year here, it was, uh, it was a tremendous one, the, the way the stadium lifted the team, um, the moment we scored the first one. Uh, the first one, obviously, as a manager that I won here, um, a really special one as well, uh, because that's why we were in a position that we, 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 needed, to, we needed that win at the time. Uh, it's a special. It's, um, it's a rivalry in a city, but I really like the rivalry. I have lived many other um, derbies when I played in France, when I played in Spain, um, when I played in, in Glasgow, when I played Everton, Liverpool. It's a special thing here. Um, it's in the same city. Um, there's something between communities as well, and um, and I really like it. It's intense. Does, does it set a tone for you know for the season? Does it lay down the marker? You know, does it make a statement? You know, and how important is that? Is that for you on Sunday? I think it builds um, something even bigger as well um, with your supporters. I think it is is a game that is always in your fixtures and you look straight away when we play in that game because it's a special day, something emotionally attached to it and that makes it bigger. So um, it will be a big lift if we manage to win it. Is there a better feeling when you win? No, I think uh, because you know what it means to people, you know, and, and having that possibility in your job to make someone happy, uh, that's a huge fulfillment. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and that's the responsibility that we feel. When you, I mean, obviously, the fans, it's all, everything is about beating Tottenham. Do you get the same thing from like people around the club? Do you ever people come up to you and saying, we've got to beat Tottenham, Tottenham's <laughs> the one we've got to win? There is something, you walk down the streets and, and there, there is a feeling that I imagine is, is both ways, uh, because there is the history, there is the rivalry, and, and that's a beautiful thing if it's taken in the right way in, in a sport, and it's just, we're so privileged to be involved in these kind of games. I mean, you've got players from all around the world. There's not that many are brought up as Arsenal fans, but do they all understand exactly what this one means? They do understand, and if, if they haven't, uh, I will explain them very quickly um, what it means. And um, it's simple to do that, and, and as well, they will realise the moment that we get around the Emirates on, on Sunday afternoon, and, and they see the atmosphere and, and the vibe around it, they will realise quickly what is coming. Can you, can you almost treat it as just another game or does that sort of go out the window when, when it's the emotions are there? No, I think there are things that obviously emotionally you have to control, but I think the atmosphere will be different. Uh, um, it will be more electric, it will be more energy on the ground, uh, on the pitch, and, um, and you have to deal with that in, in the right way and take advantage of that. Uh, you experienced the old firm derby before the North London derby, which the Spurs manager is going to do the same way. How do the two compare? And did the first one help you <coughs> with the second one? I think, first of all, living those kind of uh, derbies in different countries is, is a blessing. And uh, the Glasgow one is a huge one for many things, obviously because of the rivalry, because of the religion, there is a lot of things culturally as well. There is the city, uh, a really special one, I think. And um, I don't know, enjoy the one that we have the ability to play right now, which is this one. Did the the old firm derby, was it more intense because of the off-field thing, did you say? <coughs> when I look back, probably it was, it was a shock for me. You know, in the first five, six, ten minutes, I think the ball didn't hit the, the floor, the grass. And everything was allowed. You know, it was many years ago, and, and that was probably a big hit for me. That probably when I look back, I say, wow, what was that? And then you get used to it, and you find similarities in other derbies that uh, are probably that early one, it was, it was a big shock. And what about your first North London derby? Do you remember that one as well? That one, yeah, it was different because the styles are different as well. You get used to it, you have had some experiences there as well, and I think you treat it in a different way. Yes, Anthony, Hi, Mikhail. Hi. Um, with the start Tottenham have had this season, how would you, I know it's early days, but how would you assess them against the other teams in the league so far? I don't know, it's very early in the, in the season, it's very hard to tell. For sure, they have a, a really good start and they're in a good moment, and uh, and uh, we are too. And um, it's a it's a big game, and we're gonna have to to battle the right way to win it. But what qualities have you seen so far in their team that you think that that could be of danger to us on Sunday? Well, a lot. You know, they don't win games, they dominate the games. They have scored a lot of goals. That's uh, certainly something. They're not really attacking, flowing team, and um, and they go for it, and um, and it will bring different 
very different approach probably for the games that we have played in the league so far. And after beating PSV 4-0, going into this game, what do you think that does in terms of confidence and um, uh, as like a warning sign to them that you guys have got this capability of putting four past a team in the Champions League, for example? Yeah. Well, for sure, it has to drive the energy and the belief that we have to keep doing what we are doing and, uh, and understand that it's going to be a very different game that's going to need that performance or even better to beat them and, uh, and keep going. Okay.